much as he's paying 350, he's not going to pay the, fee, the 350 at once. He's going to start by paying a deposit. Now, the deposit is of shillings, shillings, 200,000. He starts by paying that deposit of 200,000. Then, after paying a deposit of 200,000, they are saying that, and then pay the balance in 10 equal weekly installments. 10 equal weekly installments. So we need to know the balance. So the balance is going to be a shilling 350,000 minus the deposit of shillings 200,000, which the customer has paid, which Mr. Mukwaya has, has paid. Because we said that Mr. Mukwaya wants to buy the shirt, but the shirt he's going to buy, he doesn't have the full cash value of 300,000. For him, he's going to use the method of paying in installments, but the condition is he was supposed to pay, first of all, 200,000. Then, after paying the 200,000, the remaining amount of money, the balance will be paid in 10 equal weekly installments. So, let's first of all find the balance. The balance is going to be 350,000 minus 200,000, giving us a balance of shillings 150,000. That is the balance. But, what is the question saying? The question is saying, how much is paid per, per installment? Remember they said that he has to pay the balance of 150,000 in 10 equal weekly installments. Meaning this 150,000 must